gamers, hey, this is just a short video to show kind of how I paint a 20 millimeter Civil War figure. Um, I'm no pro painter, just kind of average Joe gamer. I try to get a good looking figure on the tabletop, something that looks good from, you know, two to three feet away. Um, but I think there's some, you know, ideas in here that others might be able to use. Um, this is a, a 28 millimeter Raven, a Banner Games figure. Um, basically what I'm doing here is just using kind of that slap shop technique, very trendy right now, but it allows you to crank out, especially if you're painting a lot of figures, crank out units pretty quick. Um, my favorite ACW figures, I love Raven Banner, um, Dixon, Perry, Old Glory, Sash and Saber. Those would be some of my favorites. So if you're looking to get into the period, you definitely can't go wrong there. Uh, Perry Plastics would be a great starting point. But anyway, here's the video. Hey, this is just a short video to show how I paint 25 millimeter Civil War miniatures. I was definitely inspired by an old Modeler Smart uh, magazine that showed kind of, this is pre-internet, that showed kind of how to do it um, step by step. So, you know, the, the first thing is just to start with a, a figure, a plain figure. This is a 28 millimeter Raven Banner uh, Federal marching. Very nice. Next, I like to spray, uh, use a black primer. So really any flat black primer will work. Um, I use a primer that I can get at Hobby Lobby, basically. Um, any craft store should work fine. And then I use the slap chop method. So I dry brush uh, the gray over the figure, just a light gray. And then over that is dry brushed a little bit of white, which will pick up the highlights. And then I wash it. I wash the figure with um, a contrast paint. Usually I'll use something like a, a Games Workshop, Leviathan blue or an ultramarines blue. I think that, that makes a great federal dark blue. So this is the result once I wash, wash the figure with the contrast paint. And then I'll highlight the pants. Um, I'll use a Vallejo. This is a, a sky blue, um, azul, cielo. And then I'll go in and pick out kind of the flesh, you know, the canteen, the musket, any kind of details, really. Uh, you could do straps here if you wanted. And then uh, go in and finish the figure. So this is what the finished figure looks like. With the scarf, musket done, canteen done. Um, I'm no professional painter. I'm just a hobby painter. But I think this provides a great way to get some figures done fast. I like to paint large units, you know, 20, 24 figures, 30 figures. Um, matter of fact, I'm working on a unit for a Lusty right now, a 30 figure unit, and it's just a great way to get figures done fast. I did want to show kind of how the wash works, so let me move these figures out of the way, and I'll grab, well, let's see, I'll grab this light and blue contrast paint, and I have a figure here that's already highlighted. So basically, I just kind of work the, work the paint over the figure, and it will... As I work it over the figure, it will basically do a lot of the shading and highlighting. It'll do all the heavy work for you. Uh, you really, sometimes really just need this one coat. Uh, if you'd like, you could go in and highlight, right, or shade. But uh, really for wargaming purposes, I think one coat will work fine. Um, so anyway, that's how I do the blue and I'll let that dry. Anyway, hope this helps you, uh, you know, paint your figures up a little faster. Um, or gives you a few ideas. I might do a, uh, you know, leave some comments. I might do a, a Confederate unit as well, or maybe try to uh, figure from different period. I've been painting Napoleonics. I've been painting 30 Years War. Uh, matter of fact, on my table right now, I've definitely got some 30 Years War artillery. Kind of pull it up here. This is kind of, this is the current project that I'm working on. Uh, Titch and I are, are, well, our gaming club is working on uh, doing um, Breitenfeld, uh, possibly Lutzen. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Here's some of the figures I've painted using this technique. Here. Battle. Battle. Part of the battle 
Shiloh.